What's up, my beach preference people? Uh, we're going to have a great time looking at our beach preference data set. We haven't looked at this at all, or I've basically looked at this not really at all. Um, so this is a wide open thing. I'm really stoked you guys are checking us out and checking this data set out, and we're going to have a fun time uh, exploring it and, and, and messing around with it. Now, what, what this data represents are face-to-face uh, -face surveys that we've done across different beaches. This really began um, with the, in the wake of the 2015 Refugio oil spill, Sandy Beach oil spill, where we hit, uh, I think that year we hit 33 different beaches of surveys. Um, but it also has to do with our, our beach sustainability index, our, our, our index of beach condition. So we're doing all this work and uh, we're just we're wondering about um, uh, uh, people's choices. And, uh, and so even though we're saying, hey, this beach is messed up or this beach looks pretty good, we started wondering, is that really what most people think? We have our conceptions of what is a, a quote unquote good beach or what is a, a, a well-functioning or a healthy beach, but is that what everybody thinks? So we created these questions to try to get a, more directly at what more people think is, um, is desirous in terms of Sandy Beach going. So, uh, so it's a cool data set. No idea what we're going to find. I'm super stoked that you guys are going to be exploring it with us. So let's take a look at it. Now, the database that you guys are going to be working with is, the, is um, a subset of the overall data from our Coastal Opinion Poll. So this is our Coastal Opinion Poll. It's got a lot of stuff. Um, uh, it begins with um, some uh, unique identifier numbers. The, this uh, 2020 UID unique identifier number is, is the newest um, uh, guy laid down here to if you need to, to resort or adjust or track um, an individual response. Each individual row is one person's survey. Um, we have, we've used various versions of the poll over the years and so that's what this number is right here in this column. This is the version of the poll. Make this a little bigger for you guys. This is the version of the poll right here in the, this column. Next is the, the student, the, the person that did the data collection, the date it was administered, the year. There's actually two years here for some historic reasons. We don't need both of those, but, but uh, they should be identical. But the year that it was done, uh, the time of, of day in military time, so 1 o'clock in the afternoon is 1300. The location of where it was um, administered the city and county. And so we need to go in and, you know, add in the county uh, here, for example. Uh, and then again, there's many, several questions that uh, don't necessarily pertain to you, although you might want to use them in terms of correlating um, the responses on the farther right. There's some demographic data such as age, etc. cetera. Um, but most of these columns you don't, you don't need to focus on. Your data starts right here at column BJ. So these are beach preferences. Um, what's gone on is, actually, let me show you a survey here. Let's see, do I have one of these surveys open? Yeah, okay. So, um, so these are, this is uh, an example of one of the surveys that, that we were giving. Uh, the number is up here, 5.9.1, and there's various questions we ask. Um, but if we scooch down to the part that you guys care about, um, here is, for example, some of the questions. And we have two different flavors of beach preference surveys. Um, and they also were modified a bit through time. So we have around 2,000 respondents or so at, at various points. And this first uh, question here just uh, or this first column, excuse me, here just says, um, hey, did, uh, did anybody answer at least one of these preference questions? And if the answer is yes, then here are the questions. So here's one question which says, uh, do you enjoy a beach uh, with lots of people? or a few people. And so the, peop the, the respondent in this row um, said they prefer a beach with lots of people. Okay, the next option was between um, sugary fine sand or rocky beaches. Next was free parking between no parking, um, uh, a beach without any animals or beach with lots of animals, a beach with no dogs, or, or beach with uh, dogs that are just running around off leash, um, a beach that's groomed daily so cleaned um, with, a, with a mechanical rake 
or is is relatively wild with logs and, and plants and things of that nature. A beach that we um, that stretches from horizon to horizon when, when we look to the right or left, or one that's more in a pocket cove, say a, a Malibu a Malibu a cliff pocket beach. Um, concessions. So do, do people prefer a beach with a lot of concessions or, or a few concessions? Um, uh, with um, a beach with a lot of kids or few kids, a beach with great surf breaks, or you know, you know, perfect uh, big surfing waves, or just gentle, soft, mellow waves. Um, easy walking distance from parking, or um, one that you have to difficultly navigate down, say, a cliff, um, where fishing is uh, relatively easy and there's lots of fishermen there, or there's no fishermen. And then uh, we added later on uh, bathrooms, so uh, beaches that had many public restrooms available or no public restrooms available, and um, folks that uh, uh, are from my community here, a lot of people like that or not that many people there. The other uh, option was for people to essentially mark the intensity of, or of the importance of this factor. So this one is the number of people that are there, how important is that in determining whether you go to a beach or not, the texture of the sand, how important is that, and then, and, and so this is again, if they answered and the intensity of the score, positive or negative, and then never is that they, they never um, thought about this ever. Um, a trash is, uh, 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 how important is it that the, the, the beach is free of trash? How important is it that there is uh, you know, natural debris and natural aspects of stuff, wildlife present, parking, uh, or relatively easy parking, amenities such as uh, food stands and things of that nature, uh, surf, uh, uh, how far it is from, the, um, from where you had to travel, from your home to get there, uh, how easy it is to access the beach, um, uh, how, how uh, uh, good it is for fishing, Good for volleyball. Are there lots of lifeguards? Uh, are there, um, if there's health warnings, does that have a big influence on you? Uh, their the ability to bring dogs there. The type of people that, that are there. Again, people like your community or not like your community. And then if there's any oil or tar in or around the beach. And that's it. Now, uh, sorry, that if we, there's all kinds of other questions in, in the master database, but if we scroll over to the far right, You'll also you'll find the primarily demographic um, questions. So let me just jump over here. You'll find the demographic questions such as uh, people's home zip code, years that they live at that zip code, their occupation. Um, this has not been sorted very much; it's just raw data. Uh, the year they were born. Uh, annual household income, if they're a voter, um, if they're gender. Now, in some years, we've, we've experimented with additional gender categories, and we just hardly ever get anybody to fill that out. So, um, so we've just gone back to just using the, the traditional male-female uh, categories, um, uh, education, uh, educational attainment, and uh, languages spoken at home, and then any comments that people have about that survey. Now, this is um, uh, our, our default survey. This, this is done in um, Santa Barbara, Ventura, Los Angeles counties. We also have another survey in here, which is a, a smaller version of the survey that we did when I took um, our coastal management class to Hawaii one year in, in 2016. And so there's, there's a little bit of data from Hawaii as well, a few hundred respondents. Um, and that's basically it. So you guys can uh, firstly just have at it, just start looking around and, and start poking around and seeing what the data look like. Um, I also have the um, uh, copies of the various versions of the survey, so you can actually look and see how the question was actually phrased um, for the full details. Okay, well, good luck, you guys. Have a great time. Can't super stoked that you're doing this survey or, or digging down into this database and, and helping us um, figure out people's preferences, and we'll talk soon. Thanks, you guys.